Nearly 7,000 acres make up the Alexander Ranch, located in the Red Hills of South Central Kansas. Here, cattle thrive on the grass, nurtured with expert care by Ted Alexander, who has an unusual way of describing his operation. Oh, I like to introduce myself as Ted Alexander. I'm a used sunlight salesman. It kind of is a different approach to harvesting grass. You know, instead of being a grass farmer, I'm a used sunlight salesman. Selling used sunlight in the form of grass for cattle has worked out well for Ted. He founded his custom grazing operation in 1984 after a career as an art educator. Today, several long-term customers rely on Ted to provide spring and summer forage for their herds. The reason we come here to Ted's place is because he has an understanding of uh, rotational grazing and grass management and he also does a great job of handling the cattle. I graze their cows by the head by the day and they wean their calves late in uh, around the 15th of August, 1st of September. The calves are gone and that lowers my stocking rate at a critical time. So that works for me, it works for them. You wouldn't know it now, but when Ted started, this land was more than 75% covered by eastern red cedar trees, an invasive species that crowded out native grasses. Ted controlled the red cedars using fire and other means, transforming his ranch. I have about a 10 to 15 percent uh, cedars and it's mostly in my canyons that uh, fire hasn't been able to carry through. Uh, the forage production, I've come up to close to 150 percent more stock than I used to carry. I keep more of the water on the ranch. I've got canyons now that are flowing water springs that are flowing. The forage production has just, just exploded over the last 15 to 20 years. An early adopter of rotational grazing, Ted ranched on his own for many years. Now his son Brian has returned to be a part of the operation. While I was still in the military, about halfway through my, my eight and a half year service, I decided I wanted to come back here and be a part of my dad's dream and, and live close to the land. And part of that is helping regenerate the land and living close to it and trying to live in harmony with nature and not fight against the system. Working cattle in harmony with nature is a fundamental principle on Alexander Ranch. For example, Ted has a detailed drought plan that guides his effort to balance grass growth with stocking rates. And he's working with the Fish and Wildlife Service to protect habitat for threatened species, including a fish known as the arc darter. One of the projects that we're hoping to do this summer and, and this winter would be to come in and try to remove some of these cedar trees and open that up and, and hopefully provide better in-stream vegetation for these fish to survive. Over the years, NRCS partnerships have helped Ted refine his rangeland management, create new ponds on the ranch, and make use of solar power to pump water to stock tanks. Of course, the solar system then is a great thing to put the, the water away from any of the riparian areas or any of the streams so that those can grow grass rather than being bare from the cattle walking in it all the time. Clean the solar panel turn it on, it's free energy. Because of where I live, uh, there aren't any power lines. All of my electric fences are uh, powered by, by solar energizers with deep cycle batteries, so I use, I use a lot of solar power. When you look at what he has done as far as stewardship on his own ranch, uh, the, uh, the impacts are far greater and far wider than just what happens inside his boundaries. Because he's been willing to share, thousands of acres have benefited because others have been able to learn from his success. In fact, Ted's willingness to share his knowledge and invest time in mentoring other producers is another aspect of his stewardship. He's just more than willing to help other ranchers and he doesn't, he doesn't keep all the knowledge that he's gained over the past 20 some years to himself. He's, he really wants to see other ranchers succeed and that, that means the world to me. Though he left his art career behind, for the past 23 years, Ted Alexander has been working to build his masterpiece of ranching stewardship. This is the work in process. Will it ever finish? No, no, it'll never finish. And I hope that legacy moves on to my boy and to all the young guys and young ladies that I've been fortunate, gifted to have in this community to mentor and to, to communicate with.